tear gas and stun grenades filled the streets of Kazakhstan's largest city of Almaty as more people voiced their anger at the government decision to increase gas prices. Authorities say protesters broke into the mayor's office as shots were fired and smoke was seen billowing from inside the building. President Kasim Yomar Tokayev has imposed a curfew in Almaty following the demonstrations, as well as a two-week state of emergency in the oil-rich Mangistau province. The anger, rarely seen in the authoritarian country, began on Sunday after a rise in the prices of liquefied natural gas in the western city of Yanosen. President Tokayev also announced the dismissal of his entire government as a result of the protests. He called for dialogue and for an end to the violence. Calls to attack civilian and military officers are completely illegal. It is a crime that will be punished. Power will not fall. But what we need is not conflict, but mutual trust and dialogue. In an attempt to calm the situation, on Tuesday evening, authorities promised to slash the price of gas by more than half. However, the promise has failed to end the popular protests. Well, let's dig a bit deeper into the crisis unfolding in Kazakhstan and what that two-week state of emergency will mean. Alex Melekishvili is a principal research analyst at IHS Market and he joins us from Paris. Uh, nice to see you there. Uh, tell us how you explain, if you can, how this dissent and protest has spread so rapidly in a country where demonstrations are so rare. The uh, uh, character of these protests is such that it is uh, uh, leaderless, it's grassroots, um, it's disorganized. Um, uh, you are also correct to point out that the government shut down the internet, which is confirmed now uh, for most of the country. Uh, this is done, first of all, uh, Kazakh authorities have done it before in order to disrupt the coordination of protest activities on social media. Um, um, and with regard to the identifiable leadership, so far we can't see um, any kind of like a, a, a certain leaders emerging from these uh, uh, grassroots protests. Mind you, Kazakhstan is almost the size of Western Europe, so it's a very large country, and you have protests occurring uh, across different uh, locations. Um, again, you know, it will be very important to watch how, um, if... Uh, the authorities managed to enforce the curfew, which is supposed to take place for two weeks um, until 19th of uh, January in these hotspots. But the protests are not limited to hotspots. They are um, across different locations. Um, on occasion, they are accompanied by uh, um, sort of property damage targeting government buildings, for instance. This morning, we saw protesters uh, essentially taking control of the city administration building in Almaty, um, which is in and of itself is quite surprising. So uh, uh, the situation remains quite fluid. Now, the president has moved swiftly by uh, dismissing uh, the government uh, effectively and in introducing uh, these other measures, as you uh, mentioned earlier before. But are these options going to be enough to placate the protesters? Yeah, the most important part right now uh, uh, has to do with uh, how uh, the uh, sort of this uh, uh, grassroots movement structures its demands going forward. Economic demand has been met because the government announced that the uh, price of the LPG, the liquefied petroleum gas, will be reduced uh, uh, significantly. So this placates the initial economic demands. And with regard to political demands, um, you know, the cabinet has been changed. So this is supposed to placate the political part. I think that going further, we, we, we will see the tightening of the screws there, uh, arrival of reinforcement of uh, interior troops, uh, uh, security forces to reestablish law and order. And again, now another factor to consider is weather. I mean, uh, large swaths of Kazakhstan have been under unseasonably warm weather, which also aids the demonstrators. Insightful analysis there. Alex Melekishvili from IHS Market, thanks for joining us. My pleasure.